Hi everyone, my name is Katrina Brown and I'm a night sky light painting astrophotographer and I want to share with you how to set up your Nomad Star Tracker. It's the lightest, most portable tracker I've used yet and I'd love to share with you my passion about how easy it is to set up and use. So let's do it. First thing I want to talk about with you is your tripod base. You probably have a tripod head, a ball head, and that'll work just fine. However, I would recommend using a tripod leveler. Once you have this on your tripod, all you have to do is loosen the lever and you can level the tripod, which is what it needs to be before you mount your tracker. And why this is so easy for me is I'm quite often on rocky or uneven surfaces. And this saves me a lot of time of trying to adjust these legs and use the bubble that's on my tripod. So this is invaluable. There is a link below showing you where I got it. It's made by newer and I believe I paid less, less than $50 for it. So once I have that level, the next thing I like to add is the wedge. And the wedge is in, very important because it allows you to make adjustments up and down and left or right. And when you do your polar alignment, this is really important. So I'm gonna mount that here. The next thing to do is to mount your actual Nomad. If you notice, there's a tripod mount here, and there's an Arca Swiss plate already mounted on the bottom of the device. Let's take off the ring. We're gonna mount this to our ball head later, and we're gonna set this aside. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mount this to our wedge. Now we're gonna install the laser pointer for polar alignment. I'm just gonna turn this so you can see the process. What I'll do is I'll remove this. That's just a placeholder for it. Set that aside. In your kit, you would have gotten a laser and this adapter that screws right into this hole. Then you take your laser and unscrew the top portion. By the way, this comes with a fully rechargeable battery the cord and the uh, device to charge it comes with it as well. So this way it will screw right in as such. And when you turn it on, you'll notice that you have a nice green laser. We're gonna point that towards Polaris. All right, so here's where the wedge really shines. So if I have my laser on, which you can't see, but it's pointing north, I need to fine tune. It's very hard to do on a ball head to adjust it and try to make sure that you're lined up perfectly with the North Star because let's face it, we're imperfect human beings and I've tried it and it's very frustrating. But the wedge, if you notice, I can make very fine adjustments. I can go side to side. I can go up and down, whatever I need to make sure that I'm perfectly aligned with Polaris. Once I'm done, I'll tighten everything down lock it down, turn it off, and then it's time to mount my camera. So depending on which kit you buy, you can get one with the Nomad, the laser pointer, and this ball head. Nice, inexpensive little kit. That's the one I recommend for beginners. However, if you are more experienced and you want other things, feel welcome to get those. Okay, so if you bought the ball head or you have one of your own with your kit, we're just gonna mount what we took off of here onto the ball head. Make sure that your hand screw is this way and this is that way to attach your ball head to. We're gonna tighten that very tight. You can use a key, you can use a washer, a coin or whatever, really lock that down. Make sure that that is hanging off of it and we're just gonna screw it right on to the base. Be very careful not to fudge your polar alignment while you're doing this. All right, so now that we have that attached, we'll attach our camera and we'll go from there. Now that we have our camera attached, we've aligned our polar star. We now have likely shooting Milky Way. I have it facing the Milky Way, which way I wanna shoot it. I now need to turn the device on. It's on the opposite side, so I'm gonna flip it just to show you. So you can see here, there's an N and an S. N is if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, 
S is for when you're in the southern hemisphere. In the middle, the device is off. Here is the charging port, USB-C, very convenient to charge your Nomad, and that's it. This is the fastest and smallest star tracker I have ever used, and it was crazy accurate. I just went to Saguaro National Park last weekend. I used it, and I was set up and shooting in less than five minutes. That's a first for me. I really love the design and how small it is. It weighs less than a pound and it can hold 7.7 .7 pounds. So if you had a super telephoto lens, you probably wouldn't be using this, but if you're doing wide angle astrophotography shots, this is the perfect device for you. If you're like me, I have three cameras at all time in my bag, my Astro Modified, my normal camera, and an extra camera maybe to do North Trails or whatever else I'm doing for the night. So having something this small that can fit in my bag without having to carry a separate bag or even something else along with my gear really is a plus for me. And let's face it, as we're getting older, things are not getting easier to carry, right? I'm sure some of you can relate to that. And this really is the perfect solution for me, not to mention how easy the setup is. So if you do decide to buy one and you start shooting with it, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see what you get. I'm Redhead Katrina on Instagram, as well as Threads, and I'd love to see what you make.